I'm on the underground now and I bought the ticket for two journeys. It cost me 120 rubles. On the Moscow underground, if you look at the watches over there, they indicate how many minutes ago the train passed by. Usually the trains are going quite frequently on Moscow metro, maybe every two, every three minutes maximum. Seligorsk is one of the newest stations in Moscow metro and it's equipped uh, very modern so if you look on the floor you will see the illumination which helps you to know where is the dangerous zone and it was very noisy on the underground I couldn't really hear much when you are on the tube when you want to go out you don't have to have your ticket because the gates are gonna open themselves here you go in London Underground, you have to have a ticket to get out of the tube, actually. Rates in the Moscow Underground doesn't matter on distance, so if you go for, uh, for one zone or for two zones or for three zones, you pay the same amount of money. But as I said, in London Underground, the rate of your journey depends on the zone you are traveling. So the further away from the center you are living, the more you're paying and I think in this way Moscow Underground is more fair to people. I did a very brief introduction to Moscow Underground system and I promise I'll give you much more information in my next video which will be quite soon a couple of months but meanwhile motivate me to feel more by hitting the like and subscribing to my channel. Actually I've already published one video about Moscow Metro and if you want to see it then check the top of the screen. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.